What's up guys, I'm Kendrick. I'm Aiden. And today we're gonna to show you how to properly wash and dry your car without having to worry about damaging or scratching your paint. Let's go check it out. All right, so today we're gonna to be working on my buddy's Mustang over here. Looks all right from a distance, but when we get up close, you can see all the dirt. Got some nasty watermarks on the windshield. Dirty wheels. Not too clean, not too dirty. So the first thing you want to do is rinse the car off thoroughly with a pressure washer um, to get basic levels of dirt off. Today we're going to use the Chemical Guys Diablo Gel Wheel Cleaner, which is 100% pH balanced to clean the wheels, wheel wells, and tires. Um, on dirtier tires, you can use a scrubber with bristles on it, but we don't need that for today, so let's see how this does. So I've added this to the container in the pressure washer with the soap nozzle, and we're just going to lightly cover the wheels with it. I decided to use Mr. Pink Super Suds shampoo on the car and uh, we mix it into a foam gun here with some water. We're going to attach it right here and we're going to start foaming. Another thing you should note about soap is every soap soap to water ratio is going to be different so just refer to the instructions to find out exactly how much. So today we're going to be doing a two bucket wash method, one clean bucket and one dirty bucket. So in the clean bucket you're going to be mixing your soap and your water and you're going to be using a uh, microfiber wash mitt. You're going to dip it in the soap and water, uh, move along the car, clean the car off. And once you feel like you've accumulated enough dirt on this, pretty much just dip it into the dirty water bucket to rinse that out. Grab some more clean soap water and go ahead and get right back on the cleaning. Now typically, you want to wash your car in the shade or not in direct sunlight because you don't want the water to dry off and leave watermarks before you get to drying the car. And today we've got the sun setting, we've got some, some trees for shade. There might be a few spots where sunlight leaks through, but nothing too big to worry about. So this is just an extension with a mitt uh, microfiber wash mitt on the end to get in the hard reach places. So I'm going to start with the hood and work my way down. Rinse her off. So we're gonna rinse her down now, and uh, I'm gonna start from the roof and work my way down. And we're gonna clean the wheels off. Heaven save an angel. Every night, every day, I put my hands together and pray that it won't be long till you come along. I've been waiting, waiting. Never gave up.
All right, so now we're gonna show you guys how to dry off the car. And now there's multiple ways of doing this. You, one of the ways is you can actually dry the car off using water on smooth surfaces like the windows or even the bodywork that has wax on it. Uh, using a smooth, steady stream of water, uh, dragging it that along the paint will pull most of the beads of water off. Now, as you can see, that is perfectly dry. There's a few drops here and there, but that's nothing big to worry about. Another way to dry off the car is by using like a microfiber waffle weave towel like this. What you're gonna wanna do is just simply kind of fold it up to a size like this. Gently put it on the surface of the car and move it on the surface in one straight motion. You may have to go over it multiple times, but this is one of the most efficient ways to drive your car. Now the third way that I'd recommend how to drive your car with is uh, a leaf blower. Now the good thing about this is that it doesn't touch your car's surface. You know, the general rule of thumb is the less you touch your car, the less chance there is to actually scratch the paint. So this, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It'll just blow the water right off. And it's great for small crevices, kind of like the corners and cracks in between the side view mirrors, any uh, between the doors, any kind of panel gaps that you may have water in, this will just blow the water right out super easily. Now, as you guys can see, got almost all that water out of that honeycomb grill. A really, really hard place to dry. Now that our car is clean and dry, we're gonna use the Chemical Guys Waterless Wash and Wax and a clean, dry microfiber towel. This can be used on a wet surface or a dry surface, and it's basically just sprayable wax, and let's see how it does. This is the final step in our basic wash. It's a simple mist and wipe, and you wanna make sure to keep the microfiber towel going in straight motions as opposed to circular motions. This step will bring out a considerable amount of shine in your car's paint. Alright guys, so that's the basic two bucket car wash. Uh, thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys next time.